Let's go! Today we're gonna look at the ABT warehouse in Secaucus, New Jersey. Welcome to the ABT Warehouse. Come on in, Winston. How are you? I'm Vin. I'm the production manager for ABT. I'm good. Good, good, good. Welcome. Which way do you want to go? Well, how about we start this way, then we'll make our way back there. Okay, that sounds good. I, I actually think these are really cool. Uh, cool. Uh, they're kind of like they're an illusion. They are an illusion. They do look pretty cool like that. When they're all stacked together like that, I think that looks really nice. And it's also looking like it's a big illusion. Right, and this is what we can close on. Hi, Paul. What do you do here at ABT? Well, I'm the property manager. the property master. So I take care of the equipment that we use and the props that dancers use. And I'm also in charge of the vinyl dance floor for brown cloths that we might have dancers dance on, although we hardly ever use ground cloths anymore. And uh, we move, basically the prop department moves all the other department's equipment as well. So I load up and move all the wardrobe as well as all the props and all the equipment for the production staff and the artistic staff and all the dancers' personal equipment. Okay. Now that we know that, maybe can we get a little tour, a tour around the place? Sure. You want to start here? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, over here in this section with all these boxes, this is the equipment from what we call a daily truck that came from California. And so this is everyone's personal gear, dancers personal gear and stage managers and production and artistic department work boxes. And there are boxes of shoes and all this stuff that's right here. It's about a half a truck's worth of gear. This is all stuff that needs to return to the studios at 890 Broadway. So when we go on tour, it gets sent from 890 Broadway to here, and we put it on a truck to go to the theater, and then when we come back, of course, it comes here, we unload it from the big truck, and then we get two little trucks, and they go to 890 Broadway to put it back. And I can see behind us is some of the things from whipped cream. Yes, these are, uh, these are the props from whipped cream. I can tell because it just says whipped and cream. And on we, the box. we have to label all these boxes because we color code our boxes so that, for instance, wardrobe boxes are red, my prop boxes are blue, carpenter boxes are green, wig and makeup boxes are purple, management boxes and office staff are gray, and electrics is black. And that way, when we're coming off the trucks in the theater, we can just look at the color of the boxes and we have a general idea of which way it goes because they all go different directions once you're in the theater. I'm seeing the Swan Lake thing that says 2000. I bet, I bet I know what this means. It probably means those are some of the dresses, I mean, some of the clothes that people used in Swan Lake. And, that, and you're keeping it from, 20, from 2000 all the way 20 years later. 21 years later, yes. The, uh, you're absolutely correct. Those are wardrobe crates that hold the Swan Lake wardrobe. And at the time, we made those crates specifically to stay with Swan Lake as a show. So the whole show could always stay in the red boxes all the time because we were touring it all the time. So we wanted them just to be able to stay in there. Okay. Yep. How long have you been working at ABT, Paul? 
I have been working here full time for 26 years. Okay. I started full time in 1994. Okay. And I had done one tour with ABT in 1992. 1992. Just to one stop in Japan. Don't forget to come back to ABT Kids Daily for more Winston Goes to the Warehouse.